OK, so um, we now know if I give you two points, how do you find the point right between them, the midpoint? That's just by averaging the x's and then averaging the y's, and you actually get that point right there. Now, the question is, what if I give you sort of the opposite question? That is, we've got um, a midpoint. Suppose I give you that midpoint, and I give you one of the endpoints. How could you now use that information to actually find this first endpoint? So the question is, instead of me giving you two endpoints and finding the midpoint, what if I just give you a midpoint and one endpoint? How do you find the other endpoint? Well, actually, let me try to solidify this with a particular example. Suppose that we know that the midpoint, the midpoint is equal to minus 9, comma 8. And one endpoint, so one endpoint is equal to minus 16, comma 9. The question is, what's the other endpoint? So where is the other endpoint? OK, well, we can work through this sort of algebraically and just find it. But it's also good to think about a picture to get a sense, at least vaguely, where that answer should lie. Because if we get something completely different, we know we're wrong. For example, you can just imagine I could have done this lecture, for example, a thousand times, and each time I get the wrong answer, the picture would have told me something is wrong. Not that that happened. <laughs> so I try to graph it here in advance, and you can see I graphed minus 9, 8 over here. This is right there. Minus 16, 9 is over here. So in fact, this is one of the endpoints, you see. This is supposed to be the midpoint. So where should that other point lie? Well, you could sort of imagine connecting this line these two points together. And if we connect them with a line, and then what we do is just continue that line past the midpoint, sort of the same distance, it would give us a rough sense, like maybe right around there. I don't know. That's about it. Some place around here is going to be the other point. And that's what we're trying to locate. So I could call that point, in fact, let me call that point x1, y1. And then we'll see what our answer is and see if it makes sense that it's located around there. OK, well, so how do I proceed? Well, if I have this picture, what do I know for sure? What I know for sure is the formula for a midpoint. It's just the average of these two values. So this midpoint which we know equals minus 9, comma 8, we also know can be found by finding the averages of the x values and then the averages of the y values. Well, the averages of the x value would be what? It would be x1 minus 16 divided by 2. I just added up the two x values, x1 and minus 16 divided by 2. And the y values, y1, and then we have a plus 9. divided by 2. OK, well, now I can find x1 because I know this thing, x1 minus 16 over 2, equals minus 9. So if I set those two things equal to each other, I can solve for x1. Similarly, I know that y1 plus 9 all over 2 equals 8, so I can solve this thing, in fact, for y1. So let's do that. So if I solve the first thing, what do I see? I see that x1 minus 16 over 2, that has to equal minus 9. If I multiply through by the 2, I see that x1 minus 16 equals negative 18. If I now add 16 to both sides, I see that x1 must be equal to, let's see, what would it be? Looks like negative 2. So that's negative 2. What's the y1? Well, I know that y1 plus 9 all divided by 2, that has to equal 8. So if I cross multiply or, or multiply everything through by 2, I'd see that y1 plus 9 has to equal 16. If I now subtract the, the 9 over, I see that y1 has to equal, I guess it would be 7. So where should the other endpoint be? We know exactly where it should be. It should be at negative 2 comma 7. Is that answer reasonable? Let's take a look at our picture and see if that's a sensible answer. By the way, if our answer were something like 25 comma 36, we know that can't be right because where would 25 or 36 be? It would be, you know, way over here and I have to go way up. It'd be like by my it'd be right by my nose right now. You see? It'd be way up to here somewhere by my nose. But that can't be right. It's got to be over here. Let's see how close we were. So we think it should be -2. And look, well, I'm not exactly right. -2 is here. 
and it should be around 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's actually pretty close. It's, it seems that this picture shows that this answer is reasonable, and so we figure the math is actually correct. If you work through it, it's great. The answer is the other endpoint would be at minus 2, 7. There you go. So you can always find the other endpoint if you just know one endpoint and the midpoint.